right, welcome everyone to our very first Battle of the Chefs. This is being sponsored by Sparrow Living and we are in the gorgeous Solea Cedar Park community. This is just one of a, a few communities that we have throughout the country. And right now, this is our Kitchen Solea. So welcome everybody. I'd like to thank all the studio audience. I'd like to thank all of you guys out there that have tuned in to join us for this uh, very special event. Now, I'd like to also start by saying, my name is Sylvia Leatherberry. I am a sales manager here with Spro Living. And if you can't tell, I am not a professional MC. So once I quit shaking, I think we'll uh, get this party flowing a little bit easier but I don't want to delay any. So a couple of things I'd like to start with is um, letting you know that we are in one of our many communities that has a demo kitchen. Who you see behind me are these amazing chefs who are here to start this battle of the chefs. What we, who we have over here, we have the young gun. Chef, Chef Aaron Knight. Chef Aaron Knight is professionally trained from the Johnson and Wales. His focus is on nourishing bodies, mind, and soul. So the young gun is attempting to take down the experienced of 30 years, Chef Ken Williams. Ooh, you better look out for this. So this is our this is our Solean, one of our residents, who will be battling the young gun. So, all right, guys, without further ado, I think you guys are all ready to see what's coming next. Are you ready? Yeah. Does, does anybody have any ideas? Any ideas at all? No. Okay. okay, we've got some turkey calling here. Chefs, are you ready to see your secret ingredient? Yeah. Thank you, Melissa. And the secret ingredient is... Jackfruit. Okay. I bet y'all didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, there is a lot going on with this jackfruit. So bear with me here, guys. And we are now going to, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. And my cue card was off there. Okay, I will tell y'all a little bit about a jackfruit here directly, but let's let the battle begin. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you the rules. So, so one of the rules is going to be that that clock is gonna start ticking the minute I say battle begins. Remember, not a professional here. So guys, when I say let the battle begin, Whoever will start the clock for me. And can we get a countdown, everyone, with me? Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Woo! I see a lot of scurrying going on. We were going to give them baskets, but we figured that they could do this on their own. So while they're getting their stuff prepared, let's talk a little bit about this lovely jackfruit that we have over here, okay? I'm gonna get out of their way at the same time. Is anybody familiar with the jackfruit? We've got a few hands going up, we've got yes, we have a, okay, we've got some, uh, we've got some yes there. It is a fig and bread fruit. Grows tropical in Southeast Asia. Brazil and Africa. It is technically a fruit, guys, but uh, its consistency is very similar to chicken and pork. So for those of you that have not tried it, it is used in a lot of vegetarian meals. You know, it is, it is what it is. When you look like this, you really hope you're gonna taste really good, okay? So unlike an animal protein, uh, the jackfruit contains no saturated fats or cholesterol. This is a really good healthy fruit for you. And I am anxious to see what these guys are gonna do with this. So um, the stadium rules, guys, as you can see a lot of action going on back here. The clock is ticking. They will have 60 minutes at the time of the buzzer. They must step away from their dishes. It will be counted as completed as is. So whatever they get, they're gonna get. 
Come on, guys, what you got going here? We've got some action going on. Okay, guys, everybody may have noticed that they have some paddles in front of them. See a little action going on here? Can we see some paddles, some paddles? Okay, from time to time, I may ask you to go ahead and let us know who you think is running, uh, running this gambit a little bit better. I'm trying to talk over here, do you mind? So anyway, we're gonna give them their just fruits. Let's talk about that one. Okay, guys. All right. Oh, and let us not forget, we do have an audience over here. Just uh, you guys try to keep it down, please. We can't hear over here. And here we go. Okay. All right. We see a lot of uh, we see a lot of stuff going on here. Y'all have enough space in there? Do we need some fanning going on? I see some good vino. Oh, I see a couple of things for cocktails here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Um, guys, I'm very excited. That's what we call teamwork here. This is what we call teamwork in, in uh, Battle of the Chefs, sterile living style, okay? Huh. Huh. Interesting. What do you got going on back here, right. Chef? Just some mellow balls. For Just some, okay. I like the way the man thinks. He's got some mellow balls going for the cocktail. The cocktail first, as it should be. So guys, while they're uh, while they're buzzing all around, I'm just gonna kind of mill around if that's okay with y'all. So what's going on? Let them get that out of their way for. Oh, wow, that's a heavy pour there. It's happy hour. It is not quite, but it's happy hour somewhere. We know that. Okay, Ken, I'm gonna sneak right past here, come back and try to take a little peek into what you got going on here. Uh-huh. Well, what we got going on in here, I got a little Cabernet and some red onions cooking up. I'm gonna, hopefully, it'll... Well, I say hopefully, think positive. I think you've got this. I see some interesting ingredients over here. So let me ask you, chefs, have either of you cooked with jackfruit before? Never. Never? All right. We've got a first timer here, guys. Let's see how this is going to work. I have, but not this dish. Glad I'm not the judge. <laughs> Ken, we have every faith in you. You are, you are the one with the experience here. Well, okay. And so you said yes, the pressure, Chef. The is on. It is. I see these knives going in a flurry. Sir, I see that you're missing your, your sous chef, chef over there, having to dig for that utensil that you needed. Damn. Well, we missed that portion of it and didn't get the memo. So sorry about that. <laughs> I love the action. I love the confidence. So are you seeing what I'm seeing, guys? You liking what you're seeing? Yes, I just not grab it all. Just take it all. Take it or leave poor Aaron with nothing. So guys, I'm just gonna come out here for a little bit with you guys and see what's going on. And thank you for being out here with us. And so, so what are you thinking, Cheryl? Oh, I'm just thinking, I can't imagine what they're gonna both make. Well, you see, Cheryl attends almost every cooking demonstration, and she's very familiar with our with our chefs try. today. Oh, uh, she's ready to try out the cocktails. That's my kind of girl right there. So, I love to know what they're putting in their pants. Well, I tell you what, I think I can do that for you. Thank you. That's a great, great well, I'll comment. Tell you, I'll tell you what I'm making, and maybe that'll help you. That would be great. I'm making jackfruit crab cakes. So there's no crab, but there that's going to be. Uh, oh. I just saw fear. I just saw fear in Chef Aaron. <laughs> to see uh, the different recipes. Let's hope. 
Well, you've got you've got the uh, the jackfruit crab cakes on one side, and I don't know what uh, Aaron's got going over here, but he is mixing the two worlds together, and you have jackfruit along with bacon. How can you go wrong with bacon, everyone? Exactly. Oh, you guys are doing well. We're not quite to the 10 minute mark yet. I got two hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> all the time in the world, huh? I got two hours, right? That was the other Battle of the Chef you were on, okay? <laughs> this one is Battle of the Chef Sparrow Living. So guys, keep your keep your paddles handy because at that 10 minute mark, we're gonna ask you to see what you think is going on. So we know that uh, Aaron's got a little bit of bacon going over there. He is my friend. Bacon is boss. Oh, I see the actual jackfruit. I'm not sure if you can get a good look at that, but it does look very meaty, doesn't it? It is indeed. It's beautiful. If you could smell this kitchen here right now, it is going really well. Smell a vision is coming your way soon, guys. For now, take my word for it. It's starting to smell good. See, we've got some herbs, we got some spices, we got some garlic. We got some concentration here, guys, okay? Lighten up, it's okay, it's just a show. <laughs> Yum, yum. I love it. I love it that he has the guts to take on the young chef who is familiar with jackfruit. Yeah, yeah. You got some heads for there. While we're doing that, let's not forget what this thing really looks like here, guys. So. I think before long, before it's all said and done, we're gonna crack this baby open and see what it really looks like on the inside. Don't y'all agree? Yes. It is, it's actually very dense and very heavy. So, so jackfruit comes in a lot of other varieties, guys. I'm looking at organic jackfruit, uns, unsweetened. So you can buy this one as well. So if you really like their, their cooking, you know, keep it in mind. When we get jackfruit, we'll just have to call them to come fix it, okay? All right, where are we going, guys? Okay, we're almost at that 10 minute mark. Right. Get your paddles ready, boys and girls. Take the pulse, huh? Yep, let's see. Now, I see, I see some cooking going on over here with some boiling, boiling. Not a lot of action going here besides the bacon. All right, guys. It is now the 10 minute mark. Who do we vote? Who do we think is ahead here? Do we have Chef Aaron, the young gun? Oh, or Chef Ken. Don't look up, Aaron. It's okay. It's okay. You better be worried. Aaron. So, where did you buy this jackfruit and the other stuff in the can and the other one? Where could you purchase this? Two seconds, three seconds, five seconds. Okay. And which aisle? Is it in the protein in the can of vegetable aisle? Oh, the Lord. Okay. Okay, let's see. No, the pan looks really cold. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to pick sides and I'm not picking on you. But I see some fast and furious over there. Here, let's get you a little, let's get you a little okay, skunk to get going we'll on there, out. okay? We'll, we'll, we'll water some. You'll first. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do now, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we will be right back. So hang tight. Nobody go anywhere. I am at Zolea Alamo Ranch in San Antonio, Texas, How much which is one of that? our communities in the Sparrow Living Family. Give me, give me, give me we do more. have other communities in our Sparrow uh, Living Family, such as our Sage like, communities, like, Mara, okay. Lux, okay. as well as so Zolea. Today, I'd love for you to take okay. a peek and look around the clubhouse, which gotcha. is the epicenter gotcha. and really the heart of our community. 
Yes. Each of our communities will have home. different spaces, such as and when you hold it up, let me library, game room, craft room, media center, fitness center, and other places okay. to entertain and socialize. Uh, I'm Enjoy the show, there. and I'll see you a little later. Uh, I'm right well, I'm glad you made it outside. Day. Isn't it beautiful out guys. today? Just kind of ask. Wanted to take about. a minute and show you around one of our courtyard spaces at one of our communities. At Sparrow Living, each of our communities have a carefully designed resort-style pool with outdoor lounge area. Now you'll also see that each of our apartment homes has their own private patio balcony that some face the pool and courtyard spaces while others face the outside. We also have a veranda with outdoor seating areas where folks can enjoy coffee or sometimes just a good book. And you'll see over here our pickleball spaces, um, our bocce ball court and lots of other amenities to enjoy the outdoors. All right, everyone, welcome back. Well, a lot of stuff's gone on while y'all have been gone. So I hope you took a really good break because we've got some more action going on here now. I think um, Chef Aaron is finally starting to, by the way, Chef Aaron, finally starting to, what's your game over here? Ironically, crack eggs. <laughs> okay. So now we know that is gonna be a really good judge because now that means it is Crab cake versus crab cake. I like this very much. Nobody will be walking sideways, but there's gonna be a lot, there's gonna be some crabless crab going on here, okay? So what are you guys thinking? What are you thinking? Give it to me. Let's hear some, let's hear a little bit of noise. It's looking really great over here. Wow, I don't know if you guys heard that. With a bolognese, you are the man. So while we're waiting on them to get this bolognese going, because we all know the bolognese does take some time, we can only hope that it's within the time allotted, chef, okay? This is bolognese uh, at the Cynthia Woods speed, okay? And, and only a few of you guys might get that, that term if you remember. Um, what I'd like to do, guys, is just kind of introduce you to a few of the folks that we have living here at uh, Solea Cedar Park. We always remember that these are the guys that make this uh, not a community, but they make it a home. So sitting right up in front, and it's just like being at a comedy show. When you're up front, you're the one on spot. So here we have our beautiful Angie LeRae. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no pressure, no pressure. So Angie, just tell us a little bit about what brought you to uh, to the area and to Salea. Well, like many of the other people, my daughter is here with her family. So I came to Cedar Park for that purpose, but found Salea and what it has to be so much. Of course, we're number one, the people. Number two, the activities. I loved everything we did. Um, I say did because COVID put a little damper on things, but We'll get back to it. And it was marvelous. You could do anything you want when you want. Well, that is that is the whole purpose of living the life that you want at the time that you want it and that you so rightly deserve. So thank you for that, Angie, and thank you for participating. How's it going over there, guys? Y'all are kind of quiet. Is there some concentration going on? <laughs> So you're making a bolognese, okay. So no pressure, no pressure, young one, okay. Does anybody know what a bolognese is? Ah, chef is asking, does anybody know what a bolognese is? <laughs> we, we would like the Reader's Digest version or the Webster's, please. Bolognese is a sentence? Yeah, there you go. Jeez. <laughs> My wife makes an awesome bolognese. All right. Not that much. And we have our lovely studio audience over there as well. They're, they're the quiet of the bunch. Everybody wave! Woo! <laughs> yes, yes, put bologna in there. Yeah. No, I prefer spam myself. <laughs> 
see some more action going on here. Quite contained. If you kind of notice the techniques here, guys, you got you got that old hand over there just like going away. Just, he, he just said that the old hand, the old hand, yeah. Look at that go, look at that go. Watch that finger, watch that finger, Chad, watch it now. Well, you know, not to be outdone here, we haven't seen a lot of chopping going on on this side. So, you know, we're just saying, should we count your fingers now? Still good, still got them. Okay, you've got a couple more minutes before you hit your 20 minute mark, guys. Okay. Chef Aaron, would you, would you like for me to turn something on for you or anything over no. here? No, you're good, you're good. Okay, I just wanted to check. Candy, do you need help stirring anything over here? It's, you know, kind of, okay, all right. I just thought I would check with you guys. I'm so sorry, I did not get my name. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go introduce the judges so you'll know who's going to be sampling your food. Absolutely. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody that took some, uh, took some time to come out here and have this fun with us, because uh, obviously this is that production that we all knew what we were doing. So uh, thank you guys for being patient with us. And uh, I'm actually going to start at this end. And it is Chef Brandon. Brandon. Chef Brandon. And Chef Brandon is at the South Congress. South Congress Cafe and Schultz Beer Garden. Okay. All right. Well, two places that I love very much. So uh, although it's been a while since we've been able to go, yeah. Chef, I thank you for coming out and spending this time with us. We really appreciate it. And just real quick, you said you had had jackfruit before, correct? Uh, yeah, I've worked with it uh, in the past life. I've worked for Alamo Draft House, and we did a feast with it one time. Uh, a feast with it? I like that. I would have liked to have participated. And another lovely place that we have here locally that, that I enjoy. And from this particular location, not too far, actually, that we have no, one up no. north now, yes. So sitting right next to him is Heather Potts. And Heather is a restaurateur in Austin for many years. Heather, you want to let us know where your restaurants are? Absolutely. Well, first of all, thanks to Celia Cedar Park for having us today. This is really fun, fun, fun afternoon. Uh, my husband and I own and operate the Cedar Door in downtown Austin, and then have an Italian restaurant, La Volpe, and about to launch a new concept coming soon. Oh, no hints there. No hints yet, huh? Okay. We've just got a concept coming soon. And last but certainly not least, um, one of our residents who is a Salayan, as we like to say here, this is our lovely Peggy Hayes. And Peggy, tell us just a quick... Uh... Well, I, uh, I was born in South Louisiana, so I come from a long line of good cooks. I've got a couple of kids that are chefs, and I'm a foodie. What can I say? That I, is I, what I, we I, needed to hear. love food. I love to cook. Um, and not just Creole food. I I like everything. Well, we like everything. We hope you like this Jack. Is a treat. We hope like you it. like Jack fruit. So hang tight there. Like you, oh, she does. She is another one who's actually had Jack fruit. So uh, I'm real anxious to see uh, the responses that we have. Heather, I think you said you had not. I have not had. Jack. Okay, so we have two and one. This ought to be very interesting for us here. So while we're standing over here, let's go ahead and uh, get some uh, little more feedback from the, from the residents, the heart of the community here, which are our residents here. And we have uh, Kathy and her husband, Lee. Now, Kathy and Lee have just recently moved in. Now, it's been a couple of months, maybe. Yeah. So, well, Kathy, you tell us what brought you here. Well, 
<laughs> she was referred over here. So. I took her around and we came by here and this guy was a Leah and I, I thought it was the best. But it was my toys for her and her husband. And they looked at a bunch of different places and uh, so we have to go around with them. So when I, after she moved here, then we decided we'd go ahead and move over and be close to my sister and that would be a lot of fun. Well, we've enjoyed having them here. So that's another thing about uh, all of our Sparrow Living communities. We have an amazing uh, referral program. So refer your folks over and um, usually we have a very good incentive for that. Not only do you get to uh, get an incentive, you get to help uh, pick some of your neighbors that are gonna be moving in with you. So the fact that they happen to be family, even better yet. So thank you guys for coming out here. I really appreciate it. Okay guys, we're gonna do a quick we're gonna do a quick paddle run, you guys. Are y'all ready to see where we're at right now with who we think is ahead? So I'm gonna give you a quick countdown. Three, two, one. Who do you think is gonna be ahead here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We see indecisive over there. We, Lee back here is giving you both 50-50. So, okay, we, we're kind of tied up right now. We, we, we don't we don't want to say anything to discourage now, do we, Chef Aaron? Okay, I see an immersion over here. I see some, I see some really good uh, action going on over here. Some emulsification, am I correct? Yes. So I know a little bit. There is some emulsification going on. Permanent or semi-permanent? Okay, this is a 50-50. I am going to say that it is semi-permanent. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. I really didn't know that. Uh, I was just, uh, you know, playing possum over here. So, how's it going over here, Ken? I bet you never thought you would use so much jackfruit in your life, huh? Well, guys, I have to say that it is pretty impressive back here for something that I've never seen made before. Okay, so the bolognese is going, I think. Beautiful reduction over here, Chef. Just want to let me get out of your way, but it is beautiful. My goodness. Thank no you. sweat over here. This is what I like. I mean, I know it's got a wife over there, and I hope she doesn't mind, but I'm going to give him a little fan over here. I'm seeing a little bit of sweat because this guy is just rolling right along here. So guys, when you're all done with this, we do have recipes for you guys to take home and try your own jack fruit. So uh, I know everybody's gonna wanna do that when they get out there. You will, you will. The best fruit on a tree, I'm not seeing that. I don't know that it would necessarily be considered a tree or a a big bush, but I do know that it does grow suspended. So how, how heavy are these? Well, that's a very good question, and I'm happy to show you that. Just let me give you a little bit of, a, of an idea here. So this thing can hang from a tree? I believe so. That's pretty darn heavy. It is pretty dense. It really is. So It's even denser than a coconut. Yeah, so. Like a watermelon. It is indeed. Well, this is not the kind of watermelon that you would want to just throw up into the truck. I'm here to tell you. So, would you like to sing? Anybody? Feel free. Pass it around. You drop it, we eat it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So, so hang on tight to that bad boy. Like chicken? Could be or pork. It depends on what you're going to spice it up with. So, I'm going to see if we can't get somebody to cut one of these open for us so that we can look at it. How's that sound, guys? So, you know, again, it's it's starting to grow on I me. Mean, it's not as it's not as ugly as I thought it was originally. So I think I'm just gonna continue to carry it around and prepare for the big game this Sunday, you know. So, okay guys, this is what you have. This is what is in there. So let me pass this around over here to you guys as well. Oh no, they're telling me no, they don't want any part of this. So don't be scared, it's just a jack with the fruit. Mm. No 
Okay. And look at the cleanup they do afterwards. Yep, yep, Michalina, he's a keeper. I am sure she does. So Shaq would start a small little like bacon. Oh, so. Hope we can at least make bacon. At least, at least we know that. <laughs> All right, guys. We're not quite at that 30 minute mark. So how's it going? Things were a little long? Good. Yeah, good. Can, can we get you anything? Can we get you anything to drink? Oh, sorry, cocktails got to last. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, my goodness. No telling what you'll find in this residence refrigerator, I'm just telling you. Okay, well, while that is going on, there seems to be some really deep concentration going here. So, Chef, what you got going on over here, Chef Aaron? Got to check some crab cakes. Yes, the crab cakes coming on. You've got your... Got the roasted asparagus. Got the roasted asparagus. Okay, all right. Crumbled smoked bacon and off the other cheese to finish. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, your judges are going to be quite uh, quite impressed, I have to say. Look at those skills. Oh, I better not look. I don't want you to cut your finger. No, ah! <laughs> Mind your words, Sylvia. I know, I know. <laughs> well, guys, again, I want to thank you so much for doing this. We, you know, it's all about the fun. So if we're not out here to have fun, that's one of the things we got. We've got a couple of minutes before we're gonna take another uh, another mock test. But in the meantime, what I'd like to do is just kind of see if I can't pan into this area, just so you can kind of take a look at one of our communities. So this was our second community built. This is our beautiful clever. Of course, it's looking more like a, uh, a production set right now. On the norm, this is your clubhouse with all of our amenities upstairs. We've got a few folks looking up there. Hey, Stuart, how are you? We have a dance floor and an exercise room and just beautiful, beautiful clubhouse. So we want to thank everyone who's taken the time to log in and check us out and let us know if you'd like to take a tour. You can catch us at uh, sparrowliving.com. There is a community uh, close to you, and if it is not yet, it will be soon. So set your, uh, set your date to come in and take a tour and uh, see what it's all about here. On that note, after since we've done that plug, let's get back to what's the task at hand here. Oh, and we got about 10 seconds here that it's going to be hitting that 30. Oh, and you are now have 30 minutes left, Chef. The pressure's the pressure's thickening in here. I can feel it. I think I'm gonna need a knife so I can cut the tension. Mm -hmm. See some garbanzo coming over here. Nope. Well, I'm not using the beans. Oh, sight. I'm I'm making an aquafaba. Oh, wow. very nice. Okay, so we have some records. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what I have here. So a little bit more about the jackfruit, guys. Unlike an animal source of protein, the jackfruit contains no saturated fat or cholesterol. It's light in sodium and is also low in calories with just 20 or 2.6 uh, ounce serving. Well, that means you can eat a lot of it. That's what I say. Um, jackfruit also contains three grams of fiber as well as 110 milligrams of potassium. This is a very heart healthy um, protein substitute. So um, just to kind of let you know, I know Chef Aaron's background is um, in trying to make a more conscious food for your body, mind, and soul. Is that correct, Chef? Yes, it is. I mean, it's kind of fun. This is very emotional, very nostalgic to do it in a way it's not so tough on the jacket, tough on the body. So mm, that's, that's what you get when you get the, the, young, the young gun. 
Not, not to be outdone by the bolognese, by no means, okay? We, we like that one as well. And it's being done with jackfruit, so right there, we've just made it a, a more heart-healthy uh, dish. Am I correct there, Chef Ken? Yep, it's, uh, it now becomes a vegan dish. Now becomes a vegan dish. Oh, so this is now, um, and the bolognese that Chef is making, Chef Ken, is actually now an actual vegan dish. So for any of you, do we have any vegans in the audience? The only exception is Parmesan cheese. I was going to say, I knew there was one vegan. Let's see your hand out there. Okay, way to go, Susan. Very proud of you. You've been doing that for some time now, haven't you? What about over here, guys? Any vegans? No vegans? They're laughing. They're saying no. Mm -mm, no. We're with you. I get that. Yeah. But I'm happy to eat it, you know? A vegan for a day, right? Okay. So again, while this is going on, zooming in on that bacon, how can you go wrong with bacon? And it's not just any bacon, is it? No, it's Patterson Farms. It's Patterson Farms, it's smoked, it's applewood, I believe you said. Yes, applewood, uh, heritage, uh, heritage pork, so it's a much cleaner, nicer, uh, more ethically raised bacon. There you go. So while they're doing this, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know for the judges over here. So the judges will be um, basing their decisions on three items, taste, presentation, and originality. So those are gonna be the, um, the parameters of which they're going to pick their, uh, their winner of the chef. Now remember, they're, well, who am I kidding? Not everybody gets to win. So there will be only one that gets the bragging rights in the post. This isn't not everybody's going to win here. But everybody is a winner for just participating. I can't say that, correct? So, so judges are going to have their hands full trying to see who this winner is. Who's going to get the bragging rights for Solea? Now, for those of you that may not know, these guys have have cooked together before. Many a time. Many a time. Just never against each other. This, this may start something new here. Right there in the catch Everybody doing their famous, their famous dishes. Bolognese going here, water boiling. I can do this part. You hold that down for him? I can do that for him. <laughs> I can boil the water. I can stir the pot. And that's about as far as it's going to go. That is actually starting to look like crab, isn't it? It does. It kind of feels like it. It, kind of feels it, like it really does. does. I know you guys can't actually see it right now. But it looks like crap. Uh oh, run away, run away, lemon, run away, lemon. <laughs> Let's not get sour on this, okay? <laughs> so now, will will these crab cakes go in the oven? Oh, sauté. Oh, sauté. Same with you, Chef. Mine are going in the oven. One is in the oven. One is going to be sauté. So there are going to be some differences for sure in here. Are you done with the oven? Two minutes. Two minutes comes down? Yeah, it's at 415. It's going to take me that minute to put it together. Okay, sounds good. So, all day, all day. Are you over here? Yeah, right here. Thanks, sir. See a lot of uh, stuff in the bag. I think it's quite interesting that you both picked crab cakes to make. Did, did y'all also call each other and see what y'all were wearing? Because, I mean, <laughs> the, outfits, the outfits look a little similar here. That's a regular occurrence with us. Okay, all right. Hmm. I think they called each other. They're just not going to tell us. Okay, we see another other step back. I see some. I see some wings flying here. I'm going to get out of your way. 
Thank you, you know, I haven't knocked you over yet. I know the day is not done yet, and I will try. Got some going in there. You see, you didn't quite measure that all the way. Ah. Wow, it does. <laughs> so, uh, it's just very to say it's all coming from the heart. The healthy heart, he says, yes. Never made this before, so hopefully it thickens enough. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost there, guys. It's going to go quicker than you think, isn't it? Oh my goodness, it looks great back here. Okay. Can I give you guys a hand with anything? Ah. Uh... No help from the sidelines. <laughs> okay, I think I see an empty oven over there, Chef Ken. Oh, and finally, finally, we see some flames going on over here with Chef Aaron. So, dun, dun, dun. Just maybe, maybe. just maybe. I have no doubts. I have no doubts in either one of you. But remember, only one of you can be no, the. Win. Yes, only one of you can win the battle of the chefs. Sparrow living style. We love that it's coming from Kitchen Soleya. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to brand that one out there, Kitchen Soleya. Mmm, how's it taste? Okay, we're gonna trust him, okay? I see, I see, I want to eat and see. Oh, interestingly enough, if you guys, let me just do a recap for you. So Chef Ken has had his jack fruit cakes chilling in the fridge. I see that Chef Aaron over here did not, but not quite sure if it would be because one is going in the oven and one is going to be fried. I would guess that that may make the difference in there. Am I correct, chefs, or no? Sure, whatever you say. I like that. Okay, whatever she says. So now, chef, I see that your pan is dry, but you are going to add a little. Is it not going to be a dry? Oh, is there something in there? No. No. Oh, okay. The critiques are out, aren't they? I'm just <laughs> trying to help here. I'm just trying to be a, a, a good MC and a good host for you. Because remember, this, this is my first go around, okay? I'm guessing it will probably be my last, but that's okay too. First rodeo. Uh, you know, uh, it's, I went to the baby rodeo, okay? We rode ponies. I feel like we're with the big horses now. <laughs> I'm anxious to see uh, what, your, uh, what your cocktail is. You can see where my mind keeps going right back to that cocktail there. Oh, part, it's part of the deal. Part of the deal. Here, take some taxis, Ken. You said cocktail. <laughs> Oh, I do see a, I do see a little uh, heat coming on here, gentlemen. Here, this side for Ken, this side for there. There you go. Oh, well, it's coming down neck and neck because right now they're each making their patty. So I'm thinking right now it we're we're getting there. It is now coming down to the wire. It's going to basically be they both look amazing. I I would not want to be a judge right now. I like what we're seeing. They're going at a rapid pace right now, guys. We're almost there. Boy, the time goes by quick when you're having fun or sweating like me, you know, because I'm up here doing that. Okay, switching. Boy, you're fast at that too, huh? 
professionalism there. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Definitely not y'all's first rodeo, for sure. Thank goodness. And it appears that y'all been riding the big horses, unlike me with the little ones. So if you guys remember, they've been doing uh, this virtual cooking demos for uh, quite some time now. We've had them going on for a few months. So they really are kind of um, accustomed to this. I just don't think that they've been so accustomed to do it with this many eyes. So no. let us know that you're liking this as well. So get on our Facebook pages and see what we've got going now. For anybody who missed it, um, I do believe that this is also going to be recorded. So you'll be able to watch it over and over again. Yay! I'm guessing I'm not going to watch it again, but I'm okay with that. And I got to see a lot of likes out there. Better see a lot of likes out there. Tell all your friends. Okay, we're getting there, guys. The clock's winding down. You all here? I see a little bubble bubble toil and trouble starting over here to my left, but you know, be a far for me to tell the chef how to cook. I'm just that granny who sits up here and says, Oh, honey, your water's boiling. <laughs> Oh, I love the way you clean your space as well. It's going well. Oh, she's saying no. All right, and that's how we that's how we test our pasta here, folks. We throw it at the audience, okay? Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay, all right. Oh. I, 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 she cannot believe he just did that, and I cannot believe she caught it. Okay, you go, girl. Sign her up. So, if you'd like, Chef Aaron, you're welcome to throw a crab cake at me. Okay. <laughs> We love, we love you both. Look at that go. Working on his garnishes, I believe. Uh oh, I see some. Mm -hmm. White wine snake lunch. They're both going for the local Tito's vodka. Wow, that's a heavy pour. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Too sure. Um. Okay, guys, it got it got really quiet. Okay, we're almost at that mark. Get your get your paddles ready. We're not there yet, but tension is mounting. I can feel it. I'm about to give y'all some incredible news as the clock ticks faster and faster. Y'all seem to be going a little slower and slower, but that's okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will get your paddles ready. We're about to see at the three, two, one, 45 minute mark. That means chefs, chefs, you have 15 more minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, who do you think is wording over here? Okay, let's see some paddles. One, two. Oh, I think it is. Okay, it seems to be half and half. How can it be half and half? I think that they're, I think that they're actually talking about this, but right now it's pretty even up, guys. It's pretty even up. Oh, I already see some plating going on. So exciting. You want to take all that stuff off the cart from the back? Good. You can still hear me even when I walk behind the light. Okay, I just found that out. For those that didn't know what I said. So guys, when, when this is all said and done and you can come up for a breather, will you crack up one of those for us? Yes. Okay. We won't ask you to stop now, okay? I mean, you know, might be asking a little bit too much. Please You guys really are about even up with this uh, group right here. They, they cannot make up their mind. You guys been raising paddles as well? Oh, I like that. I like that. Wait till you taste it. As we have as we have you guys here in the back, you know, for obvious reasons. Oh, it's getting tense. I can see that. A lot of concentration going on. So, chefs, what are you thinking? For our first production, what do you think? Oh, 
I was gonna say, say be honest, but wink, wink, not really. Oh. Yeah, we're doing a great job. Smells lovely. Well, thank you, thank Great. you. Okay, well, you're going to have your jobs cut out for you. So, just a real quick one, Chef. How long have you been um, in your business in your line of work? Uh, I am 48, and I've been in the business since I was 20, and I've been professionally chefing for about 15 years. All right. Well, then you definitely are going to know what you're going to be tasting here. And you're at 48, not quite young, not quite young enough to live here, but you're getting there, okay? <laughs> Everybody knows somebody. Send them our way. So, uh, Heather, what about yourself? Uh, gosh, been in the industry 18 years, and um, I was fortunate I married a chef. Ah, boy, this is some chef's family going on here. Now, Heather Potts has actually been on our community on several occasions, so uh, thank you for always coming back and giving us a hand. And Peggy, you have two yes. sons that are chefs. Yes, I do. Um, can you tell us where they work right now? One works at, in, they both work for catering companies. Okay. And uh, one lives in Michigan, works at a university there. The youngest one lives in Kingsville. He's owned his own restaurant. Okay, beautiful. The restaurant business, as they can attest, is a tough business. It is a tough business. And I'm sure that every chef in here could probably, and restaurateur could probably attest to that. Um, now, Peggy is also a resident here. So, uh, Peggy, in just a real quick, what brought you here to Salaya Cedar Park? Well, Besides your car, we know the car brought you, but yeah. Oh, I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> um, I came because I have two granddaughters that live in the area, and I wanted to see my grandkids more. Wouldn't you know? I get here and everything closes down. So I haven't really spent as much time with my grandkids as I'd like, but I have just met so many wonderful people that I've really... I really am enjoying knowing them and becoming friends with them. And great, great people work here. Oh, well, but okay. Plug for us. We didn't ask her to say that, but you know. personality. It always helps. So <laughs> we're glad you're here. It is I'm folks as yourself and everybody here. It is everybody who lives here. Yes. Um, if you're thinking about downsizing, getting ready to start living that life that um, you so deserve, that we all deserve, that we've worked hard for, um, give us a call. Check out our website, Um, You can see the many different types of communities that we do have. Um, call, email, get your appointment set for a tour. We'd love to show you what we have. So at that point, let's get back and see where we're at because we are getting down to the nitty gritty here, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get some, ooh, whoa. Okay, let's keep it moving here. Let's keep it moving. Okay, oh my goodness, a lot happened while I left. I'm just gonna say, I see some nice crispy. Um, I think I'm just gonna saunter my way over here to Chef Ken. Um, dang it, I'm not a judge. Oh, the luck, isn't it? Look at that, is that not just beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, those look amazing. So Chef Ken, what kind of uh, beautiful concoction mixology went on here? Uh, that's uh, vodka and uh, uh, simple sugar, simple, simple syrup and uh, fresh lemon juice. And then I'm going to add this... Uh, it's a butterfly peony flower powder, which is key. Okay, now, yeah. okay, can you say that again real fast? <laughs> butterfly peony flower powder. Okay, all right. I, but I don't want to try to say it again because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it right. So it's something with butterfly in it. So it should be light. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no. That's all right. Nothing tried it. This cocktail is still safe. Well, it's okay. We're good now. We're good. Oh, I see some plating going on here. I'm going to move the crab cake, man. Oh, oh. He, he touched his crab. He, he, he touched his crab. I don't know that I would be able to do that, but 
being that he is a nice young man over here who was very respectful of that, wasn't he? You go, Chef. The young man part, I, I believe. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know how far he pushed him off or, you know, caused any real trouble over there for you, Chef. Okay. He's always on that. He can, okay, that's it. <laughs> Oh, I see some steam. I see. Oh, I saw a beautiful color over there as well. You guys, I wish you could smell this. It is absolutely amazing in here. How's it looking, Chef Ken? Yeah, I don't know. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We'll see if there. Yeah, we might be there in a couple minutes. All right. Oh. Okay, guys. We'll get this cleared it up. We have eight minutes. I missed the, the 50 mark. We got eight minutes left. Eight minutes, stop. We only see a little bit of plating going on, so no pressure. We'll see who handles the pressure best. Oh, I see some plating going on. Boy, you just gotta say it one time, and the next thing you know, there's some spoons are flying everywhere. Okay. Can I just say that I hope the judges are hungry because these are some plates coming out, all right? Hey guys. Look how beautiful. Oh, nice, I, I love it, I love it. The plating is going fast. I see calmness before the storm, no pressure. There is a massive bragging right at stake here. I know that that is something that's very important to you guys. King of Salea Cedar Park is on the line. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you never know, you know, we, we have multiple types of communities. I can see a challenge coming. I know the bunch here, so they would be up for any challenge. So, so land's number one, right? Yeah, number one. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm gonna make some room here for you real quick. Let's get this big bad boy out of the way. We're gonna just set this over here in the corner so that everybody knows what we're looking for, okay? There you go. What we're going to be enjoying. Okay. I see. I say I see fields of green, but I think that's fields of porcelain. I'm not quite sure what we got. My goodness. Look at those fields. Okay, guys, we're at the 55 minute mark. You have five minutes. Damn. Okay, it's getting really intense in here. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of bored. So, uh, Patty, Patty, can we see Patty? Okay, oh, I like that. I like the uh, the jewel there, the jewel. Reserve it, reserve it. You know, oops, they're not going to uh, go one way or the other because they know Chef Aaron will be back. <laughs> so, uh, they still want to come to those cooking demonstrations. <laughs> That's right, you know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see someone's wife getting a little nervous over there. Her heart is beating. So Ken, looking beautiful. Oh my, oh my. We've got some stuff already coming out. I can, I absolutely can. Would you mind grabbing it? I saw it from the ice machine, please. Yes, thank you. We put our, we put everybody to work here, you know. Nobody's safe. You know? Yeah, 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, my dear. Right behind you. By the way, if I haven't said it, our, our camera guy has been very kind. Always getting my good side, right? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry about that. I wasn't a cook on that side tonight. It was like, is it my good side? Okay, guys. We got three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Who will it be? Who will it be? Come on. Gonna have to start reading them on. Remember the minute that the minute that, that clock stops, that we say you'll have to step away. Yes. All right. Beautiful cream sauce. It's aquafaba. I'm oh, sorry. Right. It is aquafaba. Not to be mistaken with aqua net. And what, okay. that, what that meant is I used the juice from the uh, mabazo beans to, as the base instead of doing the eggs. All right. Okay. That's now we know. So it's Juice from the garbanzo bean. it's a uh, vegan. Another vegan. So there you go, Susan. You'll need to be getting these, uh, these recipes for you. Okay. All right, chefs. Okay. We're at the two-minute mark. Two-minute mark. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we see Chef Aaron's cocktails are coming out now. Beautiful, what a mixologist. And look at your reduction, came out great. It really did, just like you thought. Using all this, Carson? No, no, go ahead. Look at that, that's what we talk about. Yeah. Sharing is caring, okay? And then, oh, uh, and then, and then there's none left. So, <laughs> feel the love. That's why we're all here. Okay. I'm getting very nervous. Almost one minute? Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. I hear clanking or concentrating. Don't want to be a distraction. But I do want to let them know now that, uh, no, one minute, guys, one minute. And not even a minute anymore. It's going down, it's going, it's clocking, it's coming down very fast. Come on, let's see it. Let's see what you got. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. You got it. Become, oh, look at that beautiful there. Come on, you got this. Look at that color. Okay, guys. Is that it? Not yet. You've got 30 seconds right here. So. The winner's <laughs> Doesn't it look beautiful? Okay, you've got that there. Okay, guys, you got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Okay. Oh, Pocky, the one. Yeah, so. Not quite, not quite. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away. All right, yeah. That is amazing. I saw both of them step away at that exact same time. Excellent, chefs. And now, and now we're gonna go for a quick commercial break. Well, so hang on guys, we'll be right back with you, okay? Don't go away. just so beautiful. I just wanted to take a moment to soak that all up. This is one of my favorite parts of the community. As you can see, there's people outside socializing, enjoying the sun, just really enjoying the outdoors. The birds are chirping. And at each of our communities, you'll find we have these different places to sit outside um, and really just enjoy the outdoors, whether it's sitting outside and reading a book or enjoying um, gardening. We have lots of different opportunities and spaces for folks to do so. Next, we're gonna go take a peek where our four-legged friends like to spend their time. <sighs> well, I just got my exercise in. All kidding aside, this is where a lot of our four-legged furry friends like to spend their time.
Now at each of our communities, we've carefully crafted a place with our furry friends in mind so that they can enjoy plenty of amenities as well too. Now today we've spent time looking at our Solea Alamo Ranch community and I would encourage you to take a peek whenever you're nearby one of our other communities in the Sparrow Living family such as a Sage community, a Mara community, a Lux community, or a Solea community. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Today, I am at Solea Alamo Ranch. In hey guys, we're, everybody needed a break, okay? He's my guy, cut him some slack, but we're back here now and we're gonna have our lovely Melissa accompany um, our chef and let them take the plates out. So, there you go, okay. Let me help you with that, just in case. Right. Whoop, 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 it's coming off. No, we're done, be careful. There we go. Boy, that would have been really bad, huh? We would have planned it that way. That would have been my story and we would have stuck to it. Okay, there you go. Ken, if you wanna stand out here and let them know. Oh, right. Okay. He's responsible for <laughs> Remember, you break it, you eat it. So maybe that's one way to get into it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you to Melissa, our lovely assistant here. Now, if you wouldn't mind, Chef Ken, please let the judges know what you have prepared for them today. So uh, we have uh, pasta bolognese. What's uh, uh, Blue bolognese uh, takes four hours, but. Using tomato sauce and using the jackfruit, but not having the meat, speed it up a little bit. So I hope that you enjoy that. And then I have uh, crab cakes, of course, with jackfruit in it. I use crackers on the inside instead of uh, uh, panko on the outside and uh, put them in the oven. I did bake as fast as I wanted, so I didn't have to broil them just a little bit. And then you have a little reduction of cabernet and red onions. Enjoy. And your car, and your car oh, cocktails, vodka, fresh wine, uh, simple syrup, and that's the the purple is from the uh, butterfly pea uh, flower powder, which is like a tea. And we would still want to hear him later on say that real fast after having one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you have a I think you have a Ruby section over here. Okay, we're gonna give them a couple of minutes. Nothing like having a bunch of people watch you, huh? We, we, we hope you don't drop it. That's what they say where I come from. Oh, somebody wanted it. Mm. You're doing just fine. You're doing just fine. I'm gonna squeeze right behind you. I'm gonna get right behind you. I'm gonna, if I could cross behind you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. If I lost some weight, that wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Okay, it looks delicious. Mmm, mmm, waiting to hear yummy sounds. <laughs> so some shenanigans going on back there. Right now.
Okay. I'll be quiet. I hear whispers. Not me. But there's something in there. I don't. I'm not quite sure what it is. Mm. I, I, I hear some comparisons going on. They are. They're, they're still reading. Let's get some eyes. So. <laughs> I've never been filmed TV. I know. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mm, I see some scores coming over there. And if you guys can't see the other that's right what he said oh i'm sorry oh no budget there that's right What do you think about the pot? The pasta, if there's a sweetness to it, that's fine. It could maybe be a little bit more subtle, but it's still nice. It really could work. I might have played at the herbs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. Well executed. Absolutely. Okay, guys. This is what we'd like to see bacteria though. Like I was saying earlier, cleaning up and for themselves, trying to pretend that well, it's just another day at the at the office here. So, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Are there, we'd like to know right now, are there going to be any leftovers? Um, we're sorry, guys. Okay. Wah, wah. I'll bet you, though, they may be able to muster you up a little bit of that extra cocktail. How's that? So, oh, yes, yeah, so we got a rousing applause of cocktail later. We can point that one for them, for sure. So, I think we're almost there. And uh, we almost ready for my assistant to come back out. I say my assistant, she's our assistant, but I see that the judges are still tallying a little bit. So where is Ken? And um, uh, chefs, are you ready? Judges, are you ready for the next? Mark your, mark your glasses, there'll be more to come. So, all right, here we go. And coming at you now, Chef Eric. Okay, don't let that worry you. Don't let that worry you. Awesome. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, one extra. There you go. Thank you so much, Melissa. Give Melissa a hand. Right. Okay, Chef, would you let our, our judges know what you prepared for them? Today? I have made fresh asparagus, frozen with fresh garlic, pink sea salt, a little bit of avocado oil, finish it with some smoky Pedersen's bacon, um, and just a little bit of Asiago cheese. And in the, the vein of a kind of a Charleston style of crab cake, uh, I made a jackfruit crab cake. So nice pan fry, nice and crispy on the outside, a little more of a middlemost approach. And for your cocktail, you'll have a melon 
liqueur cocktail. Um, it can be also be done as a shot, or it can be done in more of a drink. You can use your, your honeydew pieces in there as kind of an ice for it, so it doesn't water it down. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Enjoy. Let's hear it for the band. That's, a, that, that's another show. Okay, all right. Oh, enjoy. Let's, let's hear it for the judges. Job well done. It's a good step. Okay, let's Divided yet comes together, right? Each of you eat your eat, eat from uh, each of them, right? Beautiful. It's hard to tell. They're not giving anything up, are they? They are really keeping that poker face in there. I would not have been able to do that, so I've been told. Jane, what do you think? I think, I think they've been eating a lot, so I think that the food is very good. Okay. <laughs> I saw them drinking the cocktails. I think they like that as well. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I see them conferring a little bit now, so. I, I think they're trying not to let us hear what they're saying. Oh, yep, they're talking just low enough for us not to hear. was a beautiful smile. Not giving it up, but that's a beautiful smile. I like the way that they're savoring it on their palate. Remember, we eat with, you know, we eat with the eyes first. So don't forget, this is what they're judging it on, guys. Taste, presentation, and originality. Which encompasses all three of those things for us, so. Okay, I think we're getting there. Are we good? Okay. All right, guys. We're about there. Okay, judges. I think we're about there. Oh, they're going for a second round. They're going for a second round of the, the cocktail. So uh, the, um, the mix seems to be going pretty good. Beautiful. And give me two seconds here. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming out and for the low technical difficulties that we did not have. So, yay for that. Chefs, are you ready to hear the answer? Yes. Are you ready to hear this? Okay, without further ado, I'd like to uh, ask the judges if they have uh, come to a decision and if they will just flip their paddle in that direction. Can you see, judges? There we are. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. The young dog takes it. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Right there. Yeah. Guys, I want to thank y'all both for participating. This has been a lot of fun. I want to thank all of our studio audience who are our residents, who remember you guys are the ones who make this the home, not just the community. And for all you guys watching out there, um, check us out on our website. Again, that's sparrowliving.com. Come see what life is all about here um, at one of our beautiful communities and set your date and time and we will be happy to give you a tour. I want to thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be well. Bye now.